Ray and Lourdes, good evening to both of you. You know, this is one of just four Bulls games, four Bulls home games left on the schedule for this season. And tonight it was a big win over the Boston Celtics. Many fans we talked to today say they waited more than a year to come see their team play in person at the Madhouse on Madison. The United Center signs had a message for fans. Welcome home. It's just a cool experience to be back at uh, United Center. I've been watching like every day on my couch. I'm just like, when can I get back? When can I get back? And they're like, tonight's the night, baby. For the first time in more than a year, fans lined up to watch a Bulls game in person at the UC. Oh man, I am so, so excited. I've been waiting all year for them, for Mrs. Lori Lightfoot to finally let us back in the United Center. It's awesome. 423 days, Bill. 423 days. What was that? Last time we had fans at the United Center. Perhaps nobody was more excited than Bulls broadcaster Chuck Swirsky. Yes! <laughs> I mean, it's been 14 months, Mike. He says the return of fans to the United Center means the return of life to live sports. It's almost like Santa Claus coming down the chimney at the United Center. So many people are amped. I'm fired up. The UC's capacity is 23,500, but tonight only 4,000 fans were allowed in. They all had to take a health survey before the game, wear masks, and they were not allowed to bring in bags. The masks, we have, uh, there was an app we had to get, and a lot of questions, we had the answers. It was one of a number of positive signs across the Chicago area that the pandemic is finally ending. Tonight, the famed Second City held its first live show with an audience in more than a year. And Governor J.B. Pritzker says the state will likely enter the so-called bridge phase next week when statewide restrictions will be loosened to allow restaurants to have 30% capacity indoors and 50% capacity outdoors. Gyms will be allowed to operate at 60%, as will salons, retail shops, museums, and theaters. But the light that we can see at the end of the tunnel is getting brighter and brighter. For the last several weeks, the United Center has been the location of one of the state's largest mass vaccination sites. Public health officials credit these shots with allowing fans to see these shots. The number of cases is decreasing and the number of people getting vaccinated is increasing. So that's a great recipe. A recipe that will help businesses surrounding the UC. I mean, it's minimal, but we'll take we'll take it. As fans are once again welcomed home. This is a great day for the Bulls. It's a great day for the city of Chicago. So now just three Bulls home games left in the regular season. Of course, there could be more if the team makes the playoffs, and tonight's big win over the Celtics keeps that hope alive. Of course, the Blackhawks also play here at the United Center. They have just two home games left in their season. They've already been eliminated from the playoffs, but of course, they'll be playing here this weekend. Reporting live tonight at the United Center, Mike Lowe, WGN News.